Hey, what's up, Zach here. And these are my top five favorite basketball shoes for spring and summer 2022 for the NBA playoffs. And honestly, this was a pretty hard list to come up with just because it's just been rapid fire recently with how many tech heavy basketball shoes have come out into the market. And like I always say, kind of as a foot doctor, there is no one best shoe. It's there's just the best one for your foot. However, these are my top five favorite that kind of combine comfort, performance, and you know value. Here we go. And coming in at number five is the Puma MB1. Now the MB1s came in mid-season this year, and what I really like about these is they're made for really nimble footwork with the rolled rubber pattern, more of a grid traction, and just really kind of low to the ground feel, while also having a tremendous stack of foam in the midsole. You know, with the nitro foam in the MB1 with the rolled rubber and the bottom loaded shank, it really does feel like you're kind of prowling the court in these, and that's why I really love them. The reason they're not higher on the list is because they don't give you as much jump force and jump height and push off speed. However, for a real kind of nimble, kind of agile basketball player, there really doesn't get much better than the MB1. Coming in at number four, I actually might get a little bit of flack for this one being in the top five, but it is the Adidas Dame 8. But what I love about the Dame 8 is you get all the trappings of a more maximalist basketball shoe with more agility, kind of speed, and just ease of use. You know, you're getting Bounce Pro in the midsole, which is one of my favorite new setups in a basketball shoe. Really stiff, robust shank, and the treads on these are some of my favorite this year for basketball with the massive air channels going through them, the break points, and kind of that quasi-wave herringbone plus the outsole grid here with all the lightning bolts, which actually do serve a purpose in giving you grip when being on the sides of your shoes and kind of pushing off laterally. You know, plus the day mate, I just seen it released in some places for as low as $80 US. So when it comes to performance and value, you know, the day mate is really up there. Now coming in at number three, and honestly the top three of these were kind of really hard to put at one through three because they're all so good. However, at number three is the Nike GT Jump. The reason this thing gets into the top three is that it has one of the best setups in the midsole I have seen this year with the Zoom Turbo in the forefoot, beefed up Zoom Air in the back, that Pebex Jump frame which just loads so much energy, plus the jump wire on the outside which gives so much strength and durability going side to side. Really can contain even the heaviest basketball player while still giving you a ton of breathability. I think the only thing that keeps this from getting up to number two or number one is just it's not the most agile shoe out there. It is a very maximalist basketball shoe. So it is going to fit those people that want kind of max protection and kind of max feel on their ankle. However, in terms of trying to break them in and in terms of agility, some other shoes are better out there. And speaking of that agility, but also having access to more vertical lift is the number two shoe on this list. And that is the Anta KT7. Now this is the Koi Fish Edition with the Boa Closure. However, the standard lace-up KT7, pretty much the same shoe except for the Boa Closure. Now the reason these things are at number two all comes down to the midsole. Now number one, it has a molded carbon fiber shank on the bottom, which gives a ton of potential energy storage and kinetic energy release. Now the reason I really like it is because it's bottom low so it makes the shoe a little bit more supportive in the arch, but because all this foam up here with this nitrogen based foam is over top of it and it is pretty thick, you don't get the discomfort of some other carbon fiber shanks out there. And with this being more nitrogen based foam with this bubbling technology in here, you're also getting a lot of impact protection like boost foam gives you, but with a lot more energy return because the foam is just a little bit livelier. Now the other thing I really like about the KT7 is that as you see these carbon fiber struts that come up on the medial and lateral side of the shoe. Now that's meant to contain the foam inside the shoe. However, an added benefit of that is it gives a ton of medial and lateral stability. So agility going back and forth, the shoe is almost just pushing you back to their direction. It really does give a lot of reverb and a lot of rebound when you're trying to move side to side. So no matter if you're going front to back or trying to move side to side in terms of speed, these are some of the best out there but also when you're trying to go get up off the ground, they're also gonna give you a little bit of a boost. And before I get to the number one shoe, I do wanna make one honorable mention, and that is the KD14. Now, the only reason this doesn't make the list, and it would've, except for that Kevin Durant's playing in the KD15 right now, and that is gonna start dropping here pretty soon. It might already drop by the time you're watching this video, and, and that's kinda gonna usurp this shoe, and so you might not see this in as great of quantities available for purchase. However, in terms of a shoe that's been great all year long and one of my personal favorites to play, 
play in, uh, the KD14 has been up there with just about any other shoe. So in any other list I would have done earlier in the year, these definitely would have made the list. And if you can get your hands on them, uh, I definitely recommend these for the right player. Just check my review out on them. But uh, I, I absolutely love these this year. And coming in at number one, this is a shoe that really surprised me during my performance review of it. A shoe that really kind of per square inch or per square centimeter kind of gave the best performance and comfort and feel that I've had in a shoe this year. And that is the Nike PG6. Now the reason I like the PG6 so much is that I have not had a shoe yet this year that combines kind of the fit profile, the weight and the performance that I've seen in this shoe yet. Now it is an entire bed here of React foam. However, it does have a pretty stiff shank in the middle, which does give a lot of stress shielding. Plus that foam is contained here a lot on the lateral side, which is really nice. That rubber comes all the way up over it. So you're not getting a lot of the bottoming of the React foam that you can get with some of more of the Nike running shoes. Now, speaking of that outsole, the outsole tread, like I always said in my review, is kind of this lunar base type pattern. However, it gives the best grip of pretty much any shoe I've seen this year. And if you get the EP or XDR version, you get that same great grip plus durability on outdoor courts. So you can get a really good outdoor or indoor shoe with these tremendous grip and just one of the more comfortable shoes out there now i actually have a second pair of pg6s that i've been playing in and going into work in pretty much every day for the last couple months and that foam especially with me who's a little bit overweight has not bottomed yet really has had no issues with any sort of comfort. So in terms of the React foam, this is definitely one of the better setups of React that I've seen in a Nike shoe. And in terms of pound for pound performance, uh, I have just not found one that I've liked better than the PG6 for the package it's in. And like I said, inevitably, there's gonna be a shoe that you might love out there that didn't make this list because, well, there's only five shoes on the list. However, that kind of proves my point that there's always going to be a best shoe for your foot type. So if you wanna see the best shoes for every foot type game style maybe injury you might be bringing to the basketball court make sure you click in this video up above and subscribe down below respect your rubber and foam i'll see you in the next video